So I have here an onboard diagnostic interface uh, car diagnostic scanner which I'm going to install in the BYD seal and you can see that it supports OBD2 protocols uh, it has a Bluetooth connection and it will connect to Apple Android or Windows devices so we're going to install this in the car we're going to detect this device on our Bluetooth on the phone and uh, having download an app and see what information that it shows. So a right hand drive seal, the location of the OBD port is <clears throat> down here by the bonnet release catch and it's just a little bit to the left and uh, it's a bit further back inside uh, and if you line uh, the connector up with the pointy end pointing forward that's your best bet but it's definitely a hands and knees job to get this installed so I'm going to do that uh, off camera <laughs> So on my iPhone, I did a search for OBD2 and I installed the car scanner app. So I wasn't able to find the BYD seal, but um, the closest car um, I could find was the Atto 3. So I selected that as my car. Um, so I'm now connected and if I click on the dashboard see we've got 14 pages of uh, information about the car the car needs to be on for this to work so the, the car is a few meters away I'm in my mechanical room at the moment so you can hear the, uh, the inverters humming and buzzing away in the background um, so, um, obviously it's a new car, so I have no major concerns about it, but, um, you know, if you have any issues uh, about the voltages and things like this, then I think, you, you know, you can check on the battery status, um, and maybe you might want to use it uh, while you're doing a charging session to look at temperature of the batteries and see what's happening. Um, but I personally won't be using this while I'm driving the car. I know some people um, like to do that, but uh, yeah, I think it's, I'm going to just use it while the car is stationary. So I'll give you uh, links to where I bought this device, um, and uh, I'll put that at the end of the video.